Today, I'm gonna to show you the passive income I'm receiving from the best possible investment you can make right now. If that sounds good, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and give this video a like right now. Just do it! Consumer Price Index for May was just released, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, it's not great. It's so bad! The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, is the benchmark metrics for inflation, and it rose 8.6% year over year in May, which is the highest rating since 1981. In reality though, things are much worse now than they were in 1981, since the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is the government division that produces the CPI numbers, has revised the way that metric is calculated over the years so that the inflation rate isn't overstated. How convenient for them. As an investor, there doesn't seem to be anywhere safe to park your cash without watching it instantly drop in value. Stocks are getting crushed, with the S&P 500 suffering its worst week since January. Crypto continues its volatile slide lower and lower, particularly with altcoins. And according to the Home Purchase Sentiment Index, consumer confidence in whether now is a good time to buy real estate has reached a record low due to a combination of high home prices, concerns about a recession coming in the near future, and mortgage rates well north of 5%. Gold is holding up well over the past month as a hedge against inflation, but I'm personally not a fan of gold since it produces no income. And with inflation at 8.6%, that means any cash sitting in your bank account that's not earning at least that amount in yield is losing its purchasing power every day. The highest yielding savings account that I'm aware of that is also FDIC insured is Bread Savings, offering 1.15% yield on cash, which is better than most checking accounts, but still not cutting it right now. We want more, we want more. Like, you really like like it, you right. want more. You can park your cash with a crypto brokerage or exchange like Voyager, for example, and earn 9% on USDC and even more if you're a member of their loyalty program. USDC is a crypto stablecoin that is backed one for one with real US dollars and audited regularly. I allocate some of my cash into USDC for the yield, but the main downside here is that your USDC is not FDIC insured. At least not yet, but that might be coming down the road. We're now left with one other option, which Susie Orman just referred to as the best investment you can possibly make right now. And I actually agree with her. And that's something called I-bonds. Stick with me because I know I-bonds aren't cool, but you know what is cool? Making money while you sleep. In the words of Warren Buffett, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. I-bonds must be purchased directly from the treasury at treasurydirect.gov and are currently yielding a juicy 9.62%. This is the most the government has ever paid for these bonds, and that's because the rate paid is tied to the rate of inflation. Therefore, there's no better hedge against inflation than an I-bond right now. Your money will never lose value, and it's essentially a risk-free rate of return. There are even tax advantages for buying I-bonds. You can defer paying taxes on any interest earned from your bonds until you redeem the bond. There's really only one downside to I-bonds, and that's that you cannot withdraw your money, aka redeem the bond, for one full year. And if you withdraw your money earlier than five years, you forfeit three months worth of interest. But with the interest rates being so high on the bonds, it's still worth it in the event you might need the money within five years. You should also know that there's a contribution limit of $10,000 a year. This maximum can be bought all at once, or you can automate smaller recurring buys on the Treasury Direct website. I purchased $10,000 in I-bonds in 2021 and another $10,000 this year, 2022. And I did the exact same thing in my wife's name. So in total, we have $40,000 in I-bonds, very safely earning us 9.62% interest, which comes out to over $300 in interest each month. The Treasury refreshes the interest rate on I-bonds every six months in May and November based on the latest CPI reading. But most economists agree that bringing inflation down is gonna take time. So it's safe to assume these high yields are going to be around for some time, so consider taking advantage while you can if you have some extra cash lying around that you know you won't need for at least the next 12 months. If you have any questions on iBonds, feel free to drop a comment and I will respond to each and every one of you. All right, that's gonna do it for this video, folks. Stay hungry and I'll catch you on the next video.